Greetings, everybody. It is the Ash Heriter, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. I hope you're all doing well on this fine, sunny day, or whatever weather and time it happens to be for you. I'm doing acceptably. And here we are, still in Alwa, ruling our rather large eparchate of Abwab, which is bigger than, you know, the rest of Alwa combined, but we're not going to talk about that. And, uh, yeah, so my next plan is to capture Aksum. I'm just going to take Aksum. I'm, I'm going to take it because I need to be able to stand on my own because one thing I noticed here, they're Coptic. They may still be our allies. Yeah, that's me. I have a boring flag now. I had a cool flag before. But Darfur, they are our allies. They do like me, but... They're no longer part of our religion. No one is. We are on our own. This is it. That's that's all that's left. This little territory here. The Coptics have taken over everything. And what the hell is this? Right, I saw this before, and I was also wondering what the hell is this. It's cool. It's a Christian faith, so we're going to have to uh, expel it from these lands. But, uh, you know, it's cool that it's there. So we have a definite uphill battle. Because... All these Coptic adversaries of ours are inevitably and gonna end up, uh, you know, making alliances with each other and definitely not wanting to make alliances with us. So we need to be able to stand on our own sooner rather than later. And if we could somehow befriend this lad here, Khalif Murad, he's only 47 years old, so I think that's gonna be a valuable investment. Uh, the question is, who are we attempting to sway right now? We're attempting to sway our shamans. He's at 31. I don't need to sway her anymore. I mean, I, I do, but we are going to attempt to start swaying Khalif Murad the second. Hopefully, he'll like us. He's a drunkard. The Khalif's a drunkard. That's not ideal. <laughs> that is not ideal. All right, uh, artifacts with low durability. God damn it. Okay, this one I don't care about. I'm going to actually get rid of it, and I think I'm going to get rid of Baska Kedern's ring as well. So, can't sell artifacts? No. There is a mod for that, but I do not have it. Should probably get it. What could we do? We could give him an artifact immediately. We could we could give him the uh, the Petro's sword. We aren't we aren't using it after all. Here, have a sword. That'll help. And uh, looking here at our council. Let's actually give her. No, let's let's give it to him. I know he doesn't need it, but we're going to give him one of the signet rings that we don't need. That we, Because uh, we have a couple that are equipped right now. We have Baska Karen's signet ring. Let's equip Izana's signet ring instead. Although... Yeah, it's going to break sooner. So we'll equip Izana's a signet, uh, signet ring. No, or Siaspika's a signet ring. And we'll sell... Sell. We're giving it away. But functionally, yes, we are selling it. We're going to give it to him so that he'll have slightly better, uh, you know. He equips it. That should help, right? Should actually increase his, uh... Or is he just not equipping it? Lame. Alright, well... I thought it might... Increase his stats, because he would wear it and it would give him the actual bonuses, but apparently the, uh, unless it's just not triggering yet. Apparently, AI don't actually benefit from them, maybe? I don't know, or maybe only rulers do? I, I have no idea. Uh, okay, you want to release Mikhail Kuda? Who is this? He is... A great Eminence. You know what? He's imprisoned. What does Imprison do? Minus five diplomacy. Okay, actually, I should have given it to him. Yeah, sure. We'll, uh, we'll let him come back out. And he's actually immediately going to be better at, uh, at the job. Though I don't want to kick in Exarchos out at the moment. Oh, no. It is equipped. All right, great. Forget I said anything. It just took him a little while. Um, cool. So we're, we'll leave him in charge. All right. Things work as they should work is always a good thing. Um, 
There are a couple of things we could do. For one, we could attempt to claim the Eparchate of Sinar right now. This would be a difficult war. She would be able to call in allies. She is still strongly allied to Makuria. And Makuria is currently not at war with anybody, so I hesitate to engage there. So I'm going to focus instead on small-time targets that I could potentially pick apart. I don't necessarily know if I want to engage against Nakis, especially since Nakis... Yeah, it's not any territory that I need, so that's gonna basically potentially give him, part of him, uh, one of his uh, vassals a claim for Nakis, so I'd rather let them take that. Whereas I will move my attentions down to territories that I can take without having to worry too much. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. All right, let's, uh, let's let time progress. And uh, I'm going to upgrade some buildings, if I can. Is there anything I can upgrade? We still can't construct anything, can we? No, we do not have the, the technology to uh, do anything like that. Sacred text. As I'm out for a stroll around the market, a merchant calls me over, insisting he has found something will pique my interest. Yeah, something that will pique my interest. The scent of drying herbs and foreign tinctures overwhelms my senses as I approach the stall. He is rifling through his collection of dusty tomes and other treasures. After some digging, the merchant produces an old book and insists I need it for what is to come. Perhaps we can come to an agreement. Uh, I take what I need. I don't think I want to do that. What need I have I for your books? It's very expensive to get this book. It could be good, though. Oh man, it's a 54% chance I fail this, but 45% chance, and that, that would cost me some prestige, but that's okay. I think I can spare the prestige. I'll need the prestige, but I think we're doing okay, and I can spare the money, and I am curious. This better be good. Okay. We have gained the Nubian Treaties. Grants plus 4% piety, plus 0.1 prestige per month. Okay. And we did get it for 60 gold. Plus two clergy opinion. Okay, it's 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 all right. It's not bad. I don't think it was necessarily a terrible investment. I don't think it was a great investment either, but that's okay. So we're going to ditch one of these rings, I think. Let's ditch the most broken one and equip this instead. Wonderful. Okay, then we can, we can give up one of these rings to somebody. Who could we potentially give the ring to? So anybody that we need to uh, make like us, not, not you, we're good there. And in fact, before we do any of that, sacred text, bibliomancy. As I'm putting away my newly acquired Nubian treatise, treaties, I, a slip of parchment falls out. Upon it are instructions for a practice called bibliomancy, where one might divine their fortune from a passage in a book. All I need to do is open this text to a random spot and read the first fateful verse my eyes might fall upon. Okay, hold on. The temptation is overwhelming. Yes. I follow the instructions to the letter and select a passage at random from the text before me, shivering with anticipation. I open my eyes and read. Fear is the mind killer. A coward dies a thousand tiny deaths, yet a valiant man dies but once. <laughs> Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. Fascinating. This requires further research. Um... 100 learning lifestyle experience. This is give me 50. We're gonna go. We're gonna go into this. 99% chance of success. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's read this book. Nubian treaties. You mean you mean Dune? Like we're reading Dune here. L let's go. I love Dune. All right. Nothing to fear. I have finally cracked the mysterious passage from Nubian treaties and feel much wiser for it. Thanks to that merchant, the threads of fate suddenly appear more clearly to me. Fear may well be the mind killer, but I have faced my fear. Without fear, I die but once. We gain ourselves a learning lifestyle perk. Nice. We're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get Scholar. We are now a Scholar. Look at that. So, do we want to go any further down into learning, or do I want to branch out and go, say, into... What, what could we? We could go into military. I am an accomplished, uh... Soldier. I'm actually not. My wife is. <laughs> but I have benefited greatly from her skills in leading men in war. So, I could switch. Now, getting Know Thyself could be good. This is a great way to, like... Because if you know when you're about to die, you can do a whole lot of things 
where you're kind of just like, okay, well, there's drawbacks to doing this if you end up living longer, but now I know I'm going to die within a year, so screw it. Like, get all the hooks on me you want and, you know, all these negative traits in exchange for immediate gain. All that type of stuff could be quite good. Uh, but I don't think I want to go any farther down, and we're not really... Actually, this could be good. Yeah, you know what, fuck it. We're going down Theologian. We're, we're staying here. We are staying here. I need Theologian because we need to do some converting. Alright, a lesson on justice. Atla Nersos, uh is becoming just. Very good. 82% uh, chance of success. No, he's already just. Um... Uh, 82% chance of increasing his marshal by one, 7% of increasing his stewardship. Alright, he is going to be a better marshal leader, and uh, Shibitku, we will do the same thing. And he's also increased his marshal. Alright, mental break, dark thoughts, I will write down my stuff. We get journaler. I really wonder, are the traits we get determined, or are the, uh, the anti-stress traits we get actually determined by the um, stats that we have? Or by some of the, uh, by... Where is it? The uh, yeah, we don't actually have a uh, the little thing here like honorable adventurer because obviously we don't have that. But I wonder if uh, no, those are AI traits. I wonder if it is determined by the stats that we have because I see here we're a journaler. We've been doing a lot of stuff with books. We're a scholar, so gotta wonder what's involved in getting these. Um, anti-stress traits, because this is actually a really good one, so of course we're going to take that. Hell yeah, we're going to be a journaler. And uh, I think we may as well do a bit of journaling right now. Like, we're, we'll be occupied with writing, but that's okay. Let's, let's do some journaling. It's going to further reduce our stress. Very good. And I tell you what, we should probably call a hunt to reduce it even further. So let's have ourselves a hunt. We are no longer overwhelmed by stress. And in the meantime, I'm going to divine the stars too. So we're going to do all this stuff at once. I'm a bibliomancer, so, uh, you know, we're clearly into divination. All right, my courtier, Akamo, is first to see it. The flighty heart is hard to distinguish from its surroundings, but it is observing us through the undergrowth. I lock eyes with my animal, with the animal, and it, al and it is almost as if it can sense my intention, for it suddenly takes off. We ride. Yeah, we'll get 75 uh, prestige. I think that might cause an accident, since we are riding down a steep cliff, but, uh, you know, a little bit of risk never killed no one, right? Don't answer that. <laughs> I had spent many nights looking up at the night sky, tracking the movements of celestial bodies. All right. We are anticipating a great battle, going to give us plus two martial, minus two learning, and plus 25% martial lifestyle experience. Fuck, so maybe I should go down into Marshall. Um, okay, we follow the heart on its flight through the ravine, and suddenly Ikamo's horse loses its footing and sends her to the ground. It is nothing fatal, but... The nun? The nun? What? The none? I don't know what this is supposed to mean. Uh, she would lose ten opinion of me if we press on without her. She's my court tutor. She's gonna die of syphilis anyways. We press on. I need the game to prestige. Alright. How's the situation here? How much longer do we, uh, do we need to wait to declare our war? I know that it is a killing shot before the arrow even finds its mark, so of course we look away, right? As the heart stumbles and falls, we drown out its wails with shots of victory. A good kill. Excellent. All right, the hunt is drawing to its end. We mount our horses to leave the floodplains behind as the servants prepare the heart and other game for the journey back. In spite of our difficulties along the way, the hunt went very well. Indeed it did, so we have 150 more prestige. That's a lot. And in anticipation for the battles to come, we need to get our men-at-arms up to full strength. More Nile archers, more Sahel horsemen, and that's all of our money. <laughs> we can pay homage to our king. Let's not. We can also petition... But I, I have nothing, like, I want nothing from her. What about start a claimant faction? I think I test, tried to do this before, but we couldn't choose ourselves as the claimant, so probably shouldn't do that. Uh, no. There's no real point in starting an independence faction, because I am, like, the only one with, with real power. Now I have a lot of men. Hold on, what happened here? Are you no longer allied? Oh, boy. It's time. I'm taking... The apartheid of Sinar. What about the apartheid 
of... No, I'm taking Sonar here. Let's go. Alright. She ain't gonna like this. We are losing a bunch of money, so we need to do this quickly. I may... I'm gonna call my allies in, or I'll call my house members in. Wait, what? Obviously, the, <laughs> the guys in Sonar aren't gonna help me here. <laughs> to invade themselves. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Uh, you will, though, so that's good. Uh, so in that sense, I may want to actually get rid of some of the levies. Do we have any purely levy armies? We're almost just a purely levy army. Let's split off a new army here. The horsemen and this. We'll bring this one out and we'll disband this force. Okay, that's minus 2.1. I think I can manage that. So, move to Naka. You guys also move to Naka. We'll amass in one big force. And we're not going to make a disorganized attack this time. Hopefully they're not coming for me. They're not. Good. We will amass into a giant Doom Legion and immediately take Soba. We'll take the capital. We have Onagers, so this should go pretty quickly. Seven months. Jesus. All right. Uh, they got they got men coming. There, there's actually quite a few of them. So this is a little bit concerning, but we should be okay, especially since our allies are coming with over 6,000 men. So uh, Khalif Murad is swayed. We're sitting at 33 here. That's good. Um, yeah, we're looking all right. We're looking A-OK. -okay. Spouse of skills. Marcus Aliyah has gained the strategist. Nice. Very nice. Nice. That's going to help me, too. Am I leading this army? I'm not. But I should. I'm going to lead this army. Okay, that is a big fucking army moving. I mean, we have a larger force in general. All right. In the name of the divine, following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son and heir, Shibitku, what he thought about it. He expressed his doubts about whether any god could want a realm to be ruled by such a harsh law. Do not expect to see a, a pedemox justice. Okay, so we can make him cynical, or we can make him temperate for 30 stress. We're absolutely going to make him temperate. Temperate is an awesome trait. So, we're going to do that. I, I'm glad to take the stress, and to remove some stress, we could call a feast. Though, we cannot do that right now, because we do not have the money to do it right now. So, we'll have to wait on that until we uh, win this war. We are losing a bit of money, but we should be okay. Okay, I don't know what the enemy is doing. They're just kind of moving back and forth, and suffering attrition in the process. Finer points of diplomacy. Today, my son Atlanersa was taught a lesson in vassal management by Ikamo. It was quite a complicated course. Necessary, but perhaps a bit beyond Atlanersa's grasp. I must let things take their time, Atlanersa says. Only by being patient and letting my subjects work at their own pace may I rule wisely. Very well spoken for a nine-year-old. He's a genius already, I can tell. Atla Nerso seems unaware that some subjects would willingly waste his time. Patience will serve you well. Yes, absolutely become patient. That is a great trait as well. My sons will be a force of nature. Oh no. Don't do it. No, 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 no. I do not like that. Do not form an alliance. Ooh, we've seized shiny mail. I'm, I'm putting that on right now. Hell yeah. We're almost fully kitted up. All we need is a crown. What the hell? Where's the shiny mail? Oh, don't tell me it's a... Uh, it's probably a, a, a court artifact only. God damn it! All right. Well, that sucks. Okay, let's uh, let's move and take El Elila. I don't know what this army is doing. They can't seem to make up their mind. They're just patrolling this territory and not besieging me, which I find to be perfectly okay. They're welcome to do so, but Mercuria is involved. That is not ideal. Okay, let's actually move to counter them, because they're going- they're about to, uh, take the fight to me. No, they're not. I don't know what they're doing. Guys, can you, uh, can you join me? Are my allies gonna help me? I don't think so. Shit, do I attempt to- yeah. We're gonna take this little army back here, if we can. Damn it, they escaped. Ah, they escaped again. Grab them? No. Pull back. I don't know what they're doing, they're just doing something. That's fine. All we need to do is take probably one more territory and then we win this. So, I'm gonna pull back. We'll take uh, Elela. Got ourselves a learning lifestyle perk. And we were indeed going towards, uh, what was it? 
Not profit, but... Convert faith. Yeah, we want religious icons. We're gonna get faithful. That'll help. Uh, we also lost our steward. God damn it. Yeah, Maranya died. He died of cancer. She died of cancer. That is very unfortunate. Okay, so we will get ourselves a new steward. My, um... Proto Domesticos here. Paulos, we're actually going to reassign you. You are better suited to be a steward. And instead, for our uh, diplomat, we will put High Chiefess. No, we're going to put Ibrahim Eddy here. Yeah, he's got syphilis too. What the hell? It's just like syphilis everywhere in my court. The Lover's Pock, as it was called. Okay. Makuria is attacking Garfer. That's fine. Um, that won't give them much war score, so... We'll take this. We're losing a bit of war score. Cradled by death. What the hell? Uh, when the midwife exits the birth chamber with a slowly crying bundle in her arms, relief washes over me. Then I see the look on, your, on her face. Oh, no. I'm sorry, my lord. Lady Alia. Words fail her, but the tone of her voice says it all. One life has been extinguished, but a new one has just begun. I must stay strong for my son. Fuck! Such tragic beginnings, we will call him Baska Karen. So, my wife has unfortunately died in childbirth, which was an all too common woe back during the times. But, uh, yeah, pretty horrific. But unfortunately, so it is. We must move on. We have to find ourselves a new wife, not because, you know, we, we will, of course, mourn Aliyah. But, uh... Let's see here. Yasmin, you could be a good option. I will lose some prestige by marrying her. We're not going to be able to marry into a strong alliance, I believe. I just don't think it's going to happen. Actually, the High Chiefdom of Wajir, where are you? This... Alright, it's down here. Um... How many men do you have? I mean, it's something. Okay. Um, potentially. Let me let me look and see. Oh, that that would be marrying a four year old. I'm thirty five. So let's not do that, because I don't want to do that to her. I'm a, I'm a good person. We can acknowledge the, uh, you know, I know it was a thing for the time, but as a just character, we can, we can acknowledge that it's wrong. <laughs> uh, alright. And, and in prestige gain, it's gonna be the same thing. Alright. Uh, then in that case... She would be good. She could help me with managing my realm, Yasmin here. Looking here, she has probably the best just general array of stats. Not that that really matters. So we'll marry her. We'll lose 200 prestige as we do this. That'll be fine. All right. She is idyllic. She will convert. All right. Good. Now she's Kashidic. And we are going to have her assist us in managing our domain. So now our stewardship skill is quite good, but I don't think we're quite suited to lead this army anymore, so I'm actually going to give this back to Theodosios. Uh, he will mitigate friendly casualties suffered as well, so that should be good. All right, let's take uh, Eleila and uh, end this war. And we are almost done converting here, which will be great. Very soon. 57%, 56%. It's just declining, even though we have their capital. Uh, but yeah, we need to actually take the territory down here. Uh, so, yeah, that's a little bit of a mistake on my part. But I'm going to take this region first. Taking their capital wasn't a mistake, mind you. It's, it's still strategic, but I was hoping maybe we could end this war. But taking this one wasn't all that useful. So we're going to move down here, and uh, who are you? The Exarchate of Zugli. Kimurite Band of Tihamat Aryamani. Okay. 
Oh, you're of Sinar, right. My cousin here. I don't know if I necessarily want to uh, attack him directly, so we're actually going to move down here into Singa. Should be fine. Let's, let's engage this. Okay, they've engaged up there. That's good. Even better. Get up there. Now we're losing. No, we're winning. Now we're really winning. All right. That's going to help the war score. All right. Great. Then, uh, you know what? We're going to take Sinar right here. Take this territory. The uh, enemy is running. Mercuria isn't really helping in this war, which is fine. I'm okay with that. What are they doing up there? We could attempt to cut them off, destroy this army, weaken Mercuria. Chinese ceramics. Chinese ceramics are a popular luxury item in the Red Sea, despite being so far away, or perhaps that is precisely why they are so popular. I was browsing the local market for some when I thought of Theonosta, who recently expressed much interest in them as lovely house decorations. Perhaps I can show my generous and thoughtful side. Theonosta, who are you? A random courtier of mine. I don't know if I'm just going to randomly buy them for you, because you're not really... Or I'll buy them some for myself. They'll give me some prestige and uh, diplomacy for 10 years. 20 gold? I can afford that. Sure. I'll do that. Okay, I don't think we're going to catch them, unfortunately. Maybe if we go up this way, we can head them off. Nah, it's not going to happen. It's absolutely not going to happen. So we need to win this siege down here. It was, uh, oh yeah, I see. I thought there would be uh, one territory in the way, but there were not. There was not. There was not. Not there were not. Okay, that I don't want. So we are going to go up there and confront them. Hopefully our allies will follow. Good. We'll engage this army right here. Our allies are about to be here. We should be able to win this. Yeah, yeah, we got this. All right, and we're defeating the Mercurians in the same process. My general should limit allied casualties. Nice. Another victory. We're at 82% war score. I kind of just want to chase these armies down and defeat them. So let's do that. Where are you going? You running? A Trans-Saharan Jewish merchant. Okay, uh, so he's a Sephardi. We can have him join my court. This would cost me 150 prestige and 130 gold, which I do not have. Or we can make a deal to him for 130 gold. I would love to do this, because it's actually, it's going to pay for itself over the next 10 years, but uh, I can't right now, so... I'm going to have to uh, decline the offer, regrettably. Okay, we're going to crush this army here. They're coming right for us and are unable to turn around, so they're just going to die in this battle. And they were completely eradicated. Awesome. Now it's just down to the Mercurians. Let's completely destroy the Mercurian army while we're at it. The war score plummeting after every, uh, you know, month is a little annoying. I need to actually take a territory down here, but I'm going to destroy this army first, and then I will do that. Alright, let's destroy the Mercurian army. Alright, yeah, they didn't like that. We're at 94% war score. I'm just gonna smash the rest of them. We'll, we'll chase them down. And the reason why I'm doing this is, uh... Because this will permanently weaken Mercuria. And that is something I want. No, let's not go through that way. They're going to come up around here and try and come into our territory from up there. Lesson on justice. We will uh, hone his traditions, of course. We have a fairly high chance of success. Good. Stewardship up by one. Same with you. 50% chance. Oh. Oh, we still gained the stress, though. Yeah, we gained the stress regardless. Mental break. Befuddled by courts. I seek solace in my journal. Yeah. All right. I misread that. I thought we only gained stress on the failure, but that is not the case. Uh, do we not have a physician? No, we do have a physician. Gane here. No longer overwhelmed. Okay, we've got some prisoners, actually. Are you a good knight? You're not bad, actually. Could we recruit him? I think we probably can. Not if we convert him, though. So, I'm just gonna recruit him. He'll fight for me anyways. Excellent. Curse undone. Alright, Miyasa has died. My rival. Sucks to be her. Um, Eparkos Papasinan, he might also... He's a bleeder, though, so... Ooh, we can sell him for a lot. Sinar, 88 gold, let's do it. We need the money. Alright, we've engaged the enemy, once again. 
Unfortunately, our allies are not helping us, but they are mounting some sieges of their own. And we won just as fine. So that's 95% war score. Our allies should be able to finish that siege. So I'm going to move up here, and we're just going to park here in uh, Kyrgos. Or they might try and swing around and come through uh, Wad Hamid. Let's see, they are... What the fuck? 77? Okay, I, I need to actually take territory here. I don't know what's going on here. Our, our war score is just plummeting. I guess it's just taking too long. Must be it. But let's destroy the Mercurians. They're gonna try and take this territory back and I'll crush their army, so... No, hold the fucking... Oh man, you almost took the area. God damn it, guys. I don't need your help. I really wish you could actually control your allies in this, in some way. If you're in charge of a... a, a war, or... Yeah. The Allies sometimes do some very frustrating things. But anyways, we'll take Sinar here, and then we'll actually get the war score going. Uh, I think we've crippled Makuria. Enough as is. And learning Lifestyle Perk. Excellent. We're gonna head down to Religious Proselytizer. Increasing our speed of converting faith. Speaking of which, that should be done. So, let's convert Astaboras. This is already Cushitic. That's Cushitic. That's Cushitic. Astaboras will become Cushitic. Wonderful. Two daughters. What is up with me? I'm just like, I only make twins. Kadiga? We're not going to name them both Kadiga? Hmm. Edza and Kadiga. There we go. We'll keep the names in the family. Edza was the, uh, the wife of my great-great-great-grandfather or something? I don't know. Um, got all these fucking swords, but they're just not very good. I'm actually going to give them to some of my knights. I think that might be a uh, smart move. Who are here? Who are Isak? I'm going to give you one of my... swords. There you go. And uh, you as well... This one? Yeah. Good. I have slightly better prowess. Let's win this war. We're at 69% war score. It really plummeted fast. I don't know what exactly happened that triggered that, considering all we've been doing is winning battles. I guess it's just that we don't actually have any of the territory that we sought to conquer. Uh, so once we have some of that, that should probably put us into close to 100% and should stop the rapid decline. Like, it is rapidly declining. Alright. But now, at least, you know, after we destroyed all those armies, we don't really have to worry about anything anymore. So, we'll enforce our demands. Excellent. Great. I now control the rest of Ablab. And with that, I can claim her title. Which I will. And, uh, we're gonna take her throne. Hopefully, before we die. <laughs> and ideally, we will do it Without, uh... Alright, what's going on here? Some ransoms? 25 gold? Sure. In here? Oh, you're still gonna put me? You're gonna make me your marshal? Alright. Whatever floats your goats. Okay. We're looking good. We are looking good. Um, you're taking way too long because you have a learning of two? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, uh, Ikamo here? He's our court tutor. I think I- oh, she's got syphilis, though. I think I'm gonna actually assign Gane. He's gonna be our shaman. Alright, 13 years, that's better. And that's like, gonna increase his learning, too, so... That'll actually help with him being a, uh, physician as well. Alright, we've got a lot of money. So, I'm gonna host a feast. Got a lot of money and I need to reduce stress, so... I'm gonna do that. Alright, let's cheer you gather. We will celebrate our victory. With a glorious feast. And the Stu Sea, in a drunken stumble, Count Cold unlashed an enormous cauldron hanging over the fireplace in the middle of the feasting hall. Savory broth welled forth to cover half the room in a sea of stew. The unsuspecting Aparkessa Yasmin, seated next to the cauldron, was caught in the rushing wave and loudly cursed her ruined appearance as grease ran down her face. Guests rushed to the other side of the hall as the thick mass spread greasy tendrils among skipping feet. Oh no. 
I think the Bible warned us of this. <laughs> okay. The Great Flood. We need to load up animals onto a, a dinghy and uh, flee out into the Red Sea, right? That's how you escape from this sort of thing. Okay. Uh, so ends another feast. Yep. All my guests go home satisfied while I remain proud of my display of generosity. That said, Count Cole might carry more shame than satisfaction after overturning the cauldron. Cleaning up will not be cheap. No, it won't. 70 more gold? God damn it. All right, well, at least we lost some stress. And I'm going to write down some thoughts. Good. Stress coping, flowing ink. I grab a pen and open my journal. With each sentence that graces the paper, I feel my shoulders relaxing. The clarity the process brings is unrivaled. Dude, I empathize. I, uh, as a writer myself, when I actually get down to it and, you know, start writing properly, it is a, it is a cathartic process. All right. Wow. I could take the Kingdom of Oxum, the whole damn thing. Uh, it would cost me 400 prestige, which I don't have right now, so we're gonna have to uh, get some prestige going as soon as we can. So, we'll, we'll need to wait on that. In the meantime, we also need to fill out our men-at-arms. So, we'll get another one of these that will cost us a little bit more money, so that should put our Nile Archers to uh, 9 out of 10 of the maximum we can get with our two units of Nile Archers. Khalif Murad is not swayed, but we are at 52 with Khalif Murad the Flayer. So, you know, as long as we're friendly with him, I think he'll probably not invade us. That's what I'm hoping. So, we could just attack her. We could take her kingdom title, or we could take Aksum. We have options. I like it. We've got options. We're only 38 years old, so we're doing pretty good. Could also go for whole of body to make sure that we live long enough, but I don't know if we'll, we'll even need to. Like, this... It, it's gonna be him, Shibitku. He's gonna be the guy. He's got, right now, quite a good stat line, extremely high learning, very good stewardship, and, you know, pretty good Marshall as well. All right, Marshall. Everything else is a bit lackluster, but that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. okay. Gane is converting, which is great. We can ransom Ankaru of David. Yeah, can we? Yeah, we will. It's otherwise not very useless. Or useful, I should say. We can claim our liege's title. I've already done that. Thank you. And we should probably take a concubine. Eudosia? A courtier of mine? No. We don't need her. Having a concubine would actually increase our prestige. So... Yeah, I wonder if there's other places we could take a concubine. The problem is... There are no pagan areas left. Like... Jesus, even Kanem... ...is Jewish. Wow. Okay. What's going on with the world? Let's actually have a look. Yeah, so, like, Kanem is a Jewish enclave. That's, uh, never seen that before. Uh, the Catholics are doing as the Catholics do. Um, yeah. Kuzarites, Tengri, the Ashuri are quite strong. Manichaean's holding on. That's good. I approve. Keep at it, guys. And, uh, yeah, this is us. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there eventually. Okay. Um, checking here. You are still Kushidic, so that's good. Uh, may not the Impaler. He does not like me. He's a cousin of mine. You should probably... Actually, why don't you like me? I think I know why you don't like me. Because you don't have a position. So we're going to give him a position. Now he likes me a lot more. That's good. And here in Alais, he does not like me either. But there's no real good position for him. So we're going to leave him. Kuro Isak won't live forever. So we will eventually need to have... Dear Lord, look at this guy's prowess. It's ridiculous. So invading Aksum, once we have 400 prestige, could be fun. New temples established. Whoa. What happened there? Uh, cool. I'm gonna decrease the temple holding time construction and everything. I can do literally nothing with that, because there's nothing I can build anywhere, which... I could upgrade my cows. Perhaps I should do that. Let's upgrade our cows. 
we'll, we'll upgrade them into uh, homesteads. That's that's what's happening. Pastures to homesteads. We're not upgrading the cows themselves, okay? Just, you know, the, the little icon. It's a cow. So when you upgrade it, you're upgrading the cows. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I have this territory too. Well, okay. <laughs> Tosca Karen has shown curiosity of his ancestry and he's growing to be more like a child of House Akratani. Wonderful. And same with Aluma. Wait, what? Oh yeah, another twin. Indeed. This is ridiculous. I have four sons. Four sons, two daughters. All twins. So weird. on a signet. Yeah, I'll fucking repair it. Children lack guardians. Indeed. Um, what are you doing? You are going into Marshall and you are rowdy. Yeah, makes sense. So, let's actually have... Could, we could have Kuri suck. Educate him. But I don't know how well that'll turn out. He's brave. He's patient, that is good. The thing is, I want them to have good traits. Okay, actually, Kadra here might be the best. Well, no. She, she's got the traits for it, but... I just don't like her stat line, and she doesn't have the education trait to do it herself. So, I may just have to wait on them until my first set of children are done. They're also all albino, or three of them are albino. Um, he's 14. All right, it shouldn't be too long. Then we can educate our second set of uh, sons. What's going on here? Ah, there's a war. We should maybe uh, provide some assistance. Let's raise up our men-at-arms. Just our men-at-arms. We will we'll head there. Oh, this is my lieges war. Never mind. Disband. I don't care about her. Secrets of Nature, I've received an offer from Penati of Sekoti, a noble woman from Al Abuab. The letter is to be believed. She's an experienced herbalist, but be willing to share her knowledge in return for room and board. Is that so? You're a genius, but you're not an herbalist. I might gain the trait herbalist, though. This works. Regardless of the fact that she isn't an herbalist. Sure, why the hell not? Alright, now I'm an herbalist. Cool. And she is now part of my court. She's a guest. Recruit her. 70 gold? I don't know. I could recruit her, and then with her I could get another knight. Uh, anyways, uh, Penanti and I are spending another late night categorizing plants and brewing potions. I am paging through one of her worn tomes when I discover a most intriguing recipe. I did not know mere herbs possess such power also, by the way. Um, yeah, yeah, let's delve into hidden... Oh. Ooh. She, she's a witch. Of course she is. Or we could get n not be distracted by myths and hearsay. Could discover her secret? Nah, let's not discover her secret. I don't want to be a witch. Um. Okay, hold on here. We still can't get her. Why? I think you're only allowed to take concubines from your own court, or or by, like, making a deal here. Sway, a misunderstanding. It seems that my diplomatic overtures towards Caliph Murad have caused a major misunderstanding. I have received a letter which makes it clear he thinks I have been pursuing a different goal entirely. I cannot grant you toll exemptions, no matter how much trade you promise. I need not... Uh, I do not need to read on to get the point. Uh, this is all a big misunderstanding. We'll end my, uh, scheme. Okay. Well, it didn't really work out. But perhaps, perhaps. Nope, there's literally nothing else we can do. And I don't think you're going to accept any marriages here. Right? <laughs> Definitely not. Hey, we're earning good money. We just need more prestige. Let's call a hunt. Get ourselves some more prestige. Spelling a beast. Okay. Um, I, you think it would be a creature from myth. Perhaps a god disguised in animal form. It was the largest heart I've ever seen. Even after the beast was wounded, the chase lasted half a day. 
It is still an imposing sight, lying dead before me. Exarchos Papasinin is just as awestruck. I've never seen such a thing, my lord. His head would make for a great trophy in my great hall. Yeah, I need that. Sorry, Papasinin. Okay, I'm taking her as a concubine. Just because we need the, uh, the prestige. Alright. Basically, you, you have a prestige penalty for not having concubines. Which, uh, now I do, so... We're looking good. Cool. New learning lifestyle perk, alright. Religious icon. Fantastic. I don't need profit. Um, so we're not going to be able to create a faith. So what I might go is go for restraint. And I may as well go for no myself if I'm going that far. So that way we can embrace celibacy and not have any more goddamn children because there's enough of them. All right. Let's speed up to five here. We need 400 prestige to attack Aksum. All right, staring at the stars, from all my evenings watching the stars, I have seen with my own eyes what I have only heard of before. The stars move at different speeds and reverse their course at different times, but seemingly in large groups, depending on which celestial sphere they belong to. Indeed, with the right calculations, one can even predict their movement. My shaman does not approve, of course. Leave the skies be. The celestial realm is for the elders to know. Well, we can gain insight from the heavens. Gane would like us a bit less, but that's okay. Let's gain our let's gain some insight from the heavens, and let's also find Gane a uh, marriage a wife, preferably somebody with high learning. Sophia here, let me marry her. She does not have high learning, but you know. My counselor, Mena, has died. Unfortunate. That was my chancellor. Okay, well, we're gonna assign Ibrahim back to the job. Us to her here, she's 63. She won't live long enough to be a problem if we don't give it to her, so... 400 prestige. It's all we need. Then we're gonna take Aksum. Because taking Alwa, I think, is gonna be a bit more difficult. And it's gonna take longer. She does still have an alliance with Makuria. What's going on here? Who are you fighting? No one. There's just battles happening inside your territory, I guess. Well, that, that can't happen. I want to take Aksum before someone else does. That's basically my, my intent here. I could go for the whole kingdom. Which would give me some weird isolated territories down here. Um, but that might be okay, actually. Depending on who you're allied with. Oh, you're allied to Ifane of Alwa. Yeah, of course you are. That would make sense. Hmm. Either way, going to war with her... Going to war against either of them is gonna be challenging. Okay, um... We could petition her for something. Uh, no, I don't want to take stress, so I'm definitely not going to do that. Especially since we're going to have to uh, conquer her soon enough. Uh, whoa, we are no longer allied to him. Not a fan of that. So, what about one of my sons? For one of your, uh, to one of your daughters? No, you're not going to accept that anymore, are you? Okay. We have no allies. No real allies. And all of our enemies have allies. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. And it's all come to pass exactly as I feared it would. Could there be a chance for an alliance here? What about to my, uh, my heir? No, minus 834? Not happening. You are... that is an Islamic sect, so we're not going to be able to get an alliance with them. You're Islamic, you're Islamic, you're Islamic. Yep, we are the only pagans left in this whole damn region. That's it. Oh boy. So, if we attack, 
we're gonna be outnumbered because he's gonna be allied with uh, with Alwa here. If I attack her, she's allied with Makuria and him. So that's gonna be even harder. I need to look and see what we might be able to uh, get out of that. All right, Shibitku has come of age. So he is a charismatic negotiator. Okay, uh, his diplomacy stat is still terrible though, but uh, that's all right. And uh, Atla Nersa is a tough soldier. Okay, neither of them got very good. That's weird, because I have an incredibly good learning trait. Uh, and we have a court tutor. With a pretty decent learning trait. So, I, I don't know why uh, why that happened, but uh, okay. Guess it is what it is. Let's get her married to the court shaman there in a matrilineal marriage. Okay, the way he can come and fight in our court. He'll fight for us. Um, ah, this would get us an alliance with the High Chieftain of West Darfur. It would be a cousin. Can I do that with him then? Yeah, we'll accept. Okay. This, this isn't all loss. Great. Okay, alright. We're not completely alone. It's only High Chieftain? Oh yeah, it's it's a small small alliance. Um, it's not much, but it's something. It is something. Uh, and here, I don't think we have really any options. Um, you have no allies, though. I could invade you. We need territory. Like, we really need territory. But this is all going to be tribal, right? No, it is feudal. Alright. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Alt Conqueror County? It's gonna take away from my uh, prestige, which I need for something else. But I may need to do this. The thing is, I need to form a kingdom before I die. Otherwise, my land is going to get divided. So I need Alwa or I need Aksum. And I know I can take Alwa. The problem is, is I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to form the kingdom of Aksum. Like, it's, it suggests here that I probably can if I take the kingdom of Aksum. But... That would make me independent of our liege down there. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. I think I'm better off waiting until this truce is over and then attacking her. But it's not giving me how long the truce lasts. All right, I have to do that here. All right, for 20 more months. That's fine. I can last until then. I'm still in fine health. And who knows what might happen to her in the meantime. She's basically got all the strong alliances she can get, so... Childhood role model. Great. Very good. Yeah. What about you? Could we, for example, sway some of your, uh, Vassals? No, this is like a Republic tier vassal. She basically has no strong vassals. It's, it's just allies that's the problem. So, as a matter of allies, we could attempt to sway the King of Makuria. Let's actually do that. We have a decent chance of success. I'm not going to invade Makuria. I'm going to attack down, because Makuria is going to be a buffer against the Hamid. So, I'm going to attack down here into Damot and those other territories uh, as soon as I have Alwa. Spouse, a helping hand, your vassal chiefess Astur uh, recently found herself in a bit of trouble. Evarkasa Yasmin smiles humbly as she continues. I made sure the situation resolved itself, and to mention you to be the benefactor. All right, we can gain a weak hook on her. Let's do it. All right, we have a hook on her, and I'm going to use that immediately. Um, I do not want to revoke her title. Well, I could revoke her title. We could take Baklin for ourselves. still be an act of tyranny, and would give us a ton of stress, so let's not do that. Uh, and you are a tribal t Okay. Well. Shit. Offer as a concubine? No. 
Absolutely not. Range marriage. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't actually really uh, have anything to gain here, especially these are tribal territories, so... No. It's not going to be good. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, that hook is useless. Uh, my sister uh, died of cancer. Jesus Christ, she's only 38 years old. What is with this? Cancer everywhere. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. Let's proceed onwards. Yes, our heir needs to be married. We will do that eventually. Okay, my skilled Protomesoteros. My Protomesoteros, Exarchos Paulos, has proven himself highly capable, especially in administrative matters. There are some projects I will be I would like to undertake in the Exarchate of Casala, my liege, with your blessing, of course. Okay, Casala here is right there. That's his own. I can handle the administrative issue myself. This would give me 150 prestige, and we would get encouraged improvements for 10% extra development growth. Or we let him do it. Which gives him extra opinion of me. About, no, I'm doing it myself. I got the stats for it. I'm going to do it. I need the prestige. Learning lifestyle perk. Wonderful. We're going to go down towards restraint. So we'll get anatomical studies. Which will increase the effectiveness of our physician. So, that's really good. Mental break. Endless toil. Grace. I'm going to be a recluse, I guess. We'll do that as well. So I'll be a recluse and a journaler. Speaking of journaling, let's do that. Okay. And I'm going to seclude myself. It's going to cost me 150 prestige, but at least our stress is gone for now. Okay, marauding slavers from Bakuria. Late raiders from the Sahel are unfortunately a threat that many people in this land face. The lure of riches traded for shipping their fellow humans to the ends of the earth is, for some, simply too strong. Usually such raids are scattered and disjointed, but slavers from Bayuda have started making considerate attacks against Karaba. The marauders shackle entire villages, led by Basilios Eotana himself. Alright, we're gonna take arms against these scum. This will not help me in making peace with him. This is the Basilios of Mercuria sponsoring this. I thought Christians were against this sort of thing. Clearly not. I, I know most Christians are. I'm, I'm just making a, uh, a quip against my enemies in this game, okay? I don't actually hate Christians or Christianity, okay? I mean, I, I have a general distrust towards it as much as I have a general distrust towards any organized religion. But uh, I'm not actually singling them out as a person, okay? Just want to make that abundantly clear. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do this. To arms against these scum. Okay. He pays 24 gold to me, and he loses 20 opinion of me. Unfortunate, but that is just how it is. And how we're here, we're almost... Yeah, the truce still needs a bit more time. And in the meantime, let's build up our army. Complete that. Men at Arms Retinue and that one. Okay, we're at four out of four. I wish we could get more, but uh, that's kind of it. So, yeah. Tough shit. We have a lot of money, so if we do engage in this war and find ourselves outmatched, we can potentially hire some mercenaries. And we may have to. We can modify contracts. Yeah, let's have a look at that. I don't know if I want to go extortionate, but I think we may want to go high feudal levies. They'll like me less. That's okay. I can take that. Okay. And Exarchos Mena of Sinar, same thing. Great. That'll increase the amount of men that we can levy up, which will be very good. All right. How long? Five more months. Not long at all. Faction targeting me is disbanded. Very good. And another faction has been created against me. My vassal Count Cole. You. Yeah, you're a bit of a problem. 
he might ask for something in return if we attempt to convert him. You know what? What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bribe him. No, I'm not, because it's, it's not going to do much. I'm going to stop attempting to sway the uh, Mercurian king. I think that's a lost cause. I'm going to try and sway him. And actually, I would fucking love to make him my shaman, but I don't think that's going to be possible. So, what else can we do with him? Not much. He doesn't really have any other skills, sadly. Um, perhaps there are other titles here. That, no, I can't give this to, like, landed characters, unfortunately. Seneschal? Perhaps? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna make my heir my Seneschal. I will give him some skills. As he does his things. And, uh, I should probably get a personal champion. We're gonna employ Kur Isak here. He's 58 years old. But, he'll be good at that. Right, greetings, my benign liege. I hereby invite you to a feast at my court in Kasala. Yeah, I will go there. Absolutely. I trust you. Not that I need to lose stress or anything anymore, but, uh, you know. Alright. We can do it. Fucking hell, no we cannot. She is strongly connected. She's allied to Aksum. She's allied to Makuria. And she's allied to... Yeah, no. We can't. We have to attack Aksum. This is our only way. We're a bit outnumbered here. But I think we can win this. And I can take the entire kingdom. Like, what else can we do? I am going to remove this rally point. We're actually going to put a rally point over here in Kasala. And uh, guys, this is this is going to be brutal, and we're going to do it in the next episode. So we are ready to attack Aksum to claim ourselves a kingdom, and I really hope this works out as I think it will. Uh, let me just double check this again. We declare war. My claim on the kingdom of Aksum. I gain the contested title, I will gain the kingdom title, which presumably will make me independent from her. Because it'll make us equal, so... Yeah, I, I guess that's how that's gonna go. That is what it's saying, so... If that doesn't happen, I will be annoyed. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what's gonna happen, guys. We're gonna do that the moment we start the next episode. We will invade Aksum. We are slightly outnumbered. But that's fine. We have a shit ton of money. We can afford to levy our entire force and call in mercenaries if we need to. Uh, I would rather not. I would rather rely on our uh, our knights and everything. But uh, if it comes down to it, that's what we're going to do. So we'll take Aksum. We'll have ourselves a kingdom. And then from there, I want to start conquering these smaller territories down here. Well, I'll take Damat first because uh, they're unallied and should be pretty open for uh, my conquests. And, uh, yeah. But then we'll be in a pretty dominant position, I think, in the region, and we won't need to worry about the fact that uh, we're the only pagan power left in this territory. Once we have enough territory here, we should be able to stand on our own. So it's going to be a risky war, but uh, I'm excited. And uh, I hope to uh, see you guys there. So if you have enjoyed it, do drop this video a like, smash that like button, you know. Or gently caress it, and that's also fine. Be nice to your keyboard or your mouse or whatever the hell you're using. Who the fuck likes on a keyboard? Your mouse. Uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, then that'll be all. I'll catch you in the next one. Ash Arator out.